Hey everybody, Photog Nord here. I am uh, back in my father's basement where in his library we have built this uh, scanning studio. Um, as you can see, uh, my father has been uh, very active with his uh, Kodachrome slides and uh, he has this uh, system with his negatives and positives and all that and he's been scanning like a madman ever since I taught him how to on this computer so um, so uh, he's been scanning hundreds of, uh, of, of pictures and um, today it's my turn to uh, to scan some of the pictures that I have had uh, developed so um, one of the first uh, rows I got here is uh, it's a color film. It's the uh, Kodak Ektar 100, uh, which I very optimistically uh, loaded into my camera here in the middle of the uh, Nordic winter. So uh, it has been uh, really, really dark all the time, especially when I get off work and uh, actually have time to to uh, take pictures. It's really dark, so um, uh, I'm really looking forward to to see what I got on this roll here. Um, I found a new place to develop my films. Uh, it's done in something called, uh, translated into English, the lab in Danish, uh, laboratory. And um, I'm looking forward to see uh, what they have done with my films. I'm really uh, excited about my film being uh, put into uh, to uh, to plastic, a uh, plastic wrapper, um, so I can just handle it. Uh, like I want to right now uh, without uh, worrying about putting my greasy fingers all over or scratching them um, what else have I got today yeah um, the loading tray the frame for the uh, Epson uh, V750 that I'm going to be using uh, also going to be scanning some uh, 6x9 uh, taken with my Fuji, Fujika GW690. Um, got a, an envelope full of uh, all sorts of uh, different brands of uh, of film because I've been uh, trying to uh, to test some different films out, uh, both uh, color and and black and white films from uh, from Kodak uh, and from What's the other brand? I forget. Ilford. Ilford it is. Um, the Ilford XP2, I believe the name is. It's not a true um, black and white film, but it's uh, it's very much close to. Then I bought some uh, some pockets for my uh, film. Uh, starting out, um, I'm going to to. Instead of just, I think I have some rows here. Yeah. No, well, these are not my film. That's my my dad's. Somewhere I just got a, a bag full of my scanned uh, negatives, and uh, that system is not very good. So I'm going to uh, save the images, the pictures that that I that I like into uh, to to these sheets and put them into a. a um, yeah, what's it called? Not a briefcase. Uh, a folk. Such such a, a bad boy here. Yeah. Don't know the name. It's called a mappe in Danish. Uh, good. So the next thing I'll do is to get my little notebook. I have written a lot of notes down for each film that I have taken. I have written down the shooting conditions, the uh, light meter readings that I have done with my, my, my light meter, uh, the settings on the camera uh, compared to my light meter readings, readings and uh, all that stuff. And then I'll start uh, by, um, by scanning uh, the first roll that I got developed and I'm really looking forward to, to, to seeing the results and uh, to share them with you, my, my, my workflow, 
Um, it's actually been been over half a year since uh, I made the last video since I was down here the last time. So so I don't really have a, a functioning workflow. But if I figure one out today, I will definitely write it down in, in, in my notebook uh, as I will be coming here uh, a whole lot more in, in the future. Uh, good. So, um, yeah, I'll just get my notebook and be back. All right, so uh, I picked up my uh, my little uh, black notebook. It's uh, unfortunately not filled with uh, girls' uh, phone numbers, but instead with uh, how I have um, taken uh, uh, my photographs uh, with with my film. Um, so uh, since I'm a, a new analog shooter, I'm horrible with my workflow. I'm horrible with my notes. Uh, I do them in a run. Uh, very fast uh, on the run um, so I know that the only color film, film that I've been shooting is the Ekta uh, 100 in this case and I on my pages here uh, I haven't uh, actually written down what the motifs are only what the settings are and I have two uh, Ekta 100 films um, but luckily I remember that one of the films was taken up here with my young son uh, on his uh, uh, slide in the snow um, and just checking these negatives out I can see that there are no pictures of that so therefore it must be my um, shooting at f1.4 30th, 30th of a second um, from picture 16 you see that's ah, it's, it's, it's this is not the way to go about shooting analog. Uh, so counting to 16, yeah, I can see here there's some consistency. I've been shooting indoor for the rest of the row. But uh, enough about that. Let's uh, let's move on to actually uh, scanning some uh, some pictures. Um, I've gone away from the uh, Silverfast uh, extra software that was included. I think it was called Silverfast. I found it uh, annoyingly buggy and, and, and crashy and, 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 and really slow to use. And instead, I tried tried the uh, normal Epson scanning software, and it's just so easy and so simple to use. Um, so uh, let's see. First things first. How do I get my film out of this uh, condom here? Let's see uh, if I can. Uh, Cut off the ends here. I can I'm using a normal steel, normal steel scissors here. Okay, let's see here. Yeah. Whoop to do. Sort of working for me. So I can have uh, six exposures per per slide in the frame, and I can see that I messed up a bit here with my exposures. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's one more. Uh, come on, come on, baby. I need long arms for this. Much better technique. Yeah. Okay. I got my six exposures here. Making a clean cut. Away with the rest of the film. And then there was the beginning that was messed up. Or the end. I cannot see. Let me just take that one out of here. Okay. Excellent. I just cut into my... Uh, one of my frames because I was so eager. So now you see I got six six frames here. Got my loading tray. Let me just start up by loading. Uh, number one here and I can see from the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six uh, in what orientation I should put the negatives. Um, and luckily I can read it from the text on the uh, actual 
um, film it says Koda Ekta 100 and it's uh, going in the wrong direction so I'm going to put it in the right direction and then I am going to turn it like this yes so now everything is upside down I slide it in here and when it's nice and snug I um, actually should have prepared another roll here so I'll just do that right away taking the next six exposures out and now I'm getting the hang of this I'll just do like this one two three four five six Blam. Yep. Doing my magic scissor trick. The first exposure is there's nothing on there. I think it's because um, when I had shot about six uh, exposures uh, on this film, I was annoyed with it being ISO 100, so I rolled the film back and put in another film. And then when I have shot that film, I actually loaded the, 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 the XH100 and I shot uh, six shots um, with the lens cap on to go back to my finishing position so I could continue to shoot on the same roll uh, and I missed the frame I can see that does not matter okay putting the uh, letters in the right direction like this So you can sort of see on the film that there's one side of the film that is actually the side that has been exposed. Uh, it's more glossy than the back side of the, uh, of the negatives. This is the side that you want to have facing down towards the, uh, the scanner. Okay, so now I loaded two, two of these rails. And... This is something, this is actually really fidgety and I, I'm, I'm not really sure that I'm a big fan of loading film into this frame, into these rails, because it's something where you have to be really careful. But lo and behold, even uh, live on camera, I managed to do it. Okay. And now they are safely, uh, securely in my, my rail. You see the, those two here. And then I will continue the process with the last two and you will not have to uh, witness my attempts with that. I'll just fast forward the buoy. I think I actually got them both loaded. Yeah, baby. Ta da! Good. And then I just uh, check them for dust. I open the scanner. Each time I scan, I use a piece of fiber cloth to just remove all dust and greasy, greasy fingers left by my old man here. Okay, that will require some more. I should also have brought some uh, some cleansing fluid. I can see. Good. Put the negatives in here. Close the scanner. 
ignore the uh, counterfeit software warning. So now I can choose the professional condition and I get a, a new pop up here. Okay, what is my document type that's film with a film holder? Film time type is a negative color film. Uh, picture type 24 bit, 84 bit. I'm not really sure uh, what these value does. So I'm going to pick uh, 24 bit uh, color. And it's a scanning with uh, speed priority. No. Resolution, yeah, give me something really high. I'm going to scan these at uh, 4800 uh, dots per inches. Uh, do I want to apply unsharpened mask? No, I do not. Reductions, color, correction, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to add anything. Uh, to here, I just want to uh, to see how my scans are going to look. And there's a configuration button. Nothing interesting here. Then I press the example, and the scanner actually starts scanning. So because the, 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 the negatives are put in the, the rails, the scanner, and they put it to, to the exact holes in the scanner, it should be able to recognize each and every picture. Uh, that would be interesting to see. If it does that, does that. The scanner is warming, warming up to me. It is Valentine's Day tomorrow. Mm. And look here, my dad has prepared some extra coziness with uh, a light. How awesome is that? Now we're scanning. But only the preview. I guess you can see the blue light. <laughs> Preparing miniatures. Voila! <laughs> we got pictures. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. They look good. They look really beautiful. Very nice colors. Wow. Wow. How awesome is that? So you see here, uh, these pictures are upside down. You can probably not see that, but that means that I loaded the film wrong into the film holder. But Jesus, these are beautiful shots. Beautiful colors, I and mean, these are just the previews. So, so I'm happy with uh, the examples here. So I'm just going to say, uh, pick the folder, say where I want them to be archived in my pictures. Call them uh, IMG settings. Do not compromise my JPEGs. Just highest quality coding standard or progressive. Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, the progressive one is probably uh, better quality, but I'm going to go with the standard. Um, okay. And where does it put them? In my pictures. So I'll just prefix them IMG Ektar 135mm. They'll be called one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. 
no, I'll just place them somewhere else on the desktop. Uh, no, I'll put them in pictures. Go. And it starts scanning when I click scan. Come on. Why is it not scanning? <sighs> oh. So this is a really ancient computer, all the parts are that I've built for this, so it's uh, sometimes just saying that the software is not responding. But now it's scanning. So right now I could go upstairs, have a cup of coffee, go outside for a pee, start loading a 6x9 frame of pictures. Um, so um, yeah. I should do something. I will put some of these uh, pictures into the film so you can actually see what it is that I'm doing here and 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 and, and how the colors look uh, of the Ektar 100 from Kodak without any um, uh, post processing, but just off the film. And that is one of the reasons that I went into shooting film. That is because uh, um, there is an immediate end result to this. Uh, it has its own look, its own colors, its own certain um, feel and, and, and texture and, and, and grain and all this stuff so so 99% of all post processing is is is, uh, is not necessary because it's all about uh, doing the actual photographing and not thinking about oh I'll fix that in post or I'll do that in post or I'll make it look like that in post blah 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 you only have to worry about actually taking the photograph you have to worry about uh, f uh, composition, uh, focus, um, um, and and of course exposure settings. Uh, if if your camera is not automatic, my mine is from uh, the early 70s, so it's full manual. It's manual lens, a manual focus, uh, manual exposure, um, everything. So uh, that's pretty cool. So I'm getting uh, 26 minutes left for 24. 4800 DPI scans. Um, so I'll uh, come back when uh, it's finished.